Now, let us discuss question number 25 from exercise 15.4 chapter 15. In the figure, X and Y are midpoints of AC and AB respectively, such that QP is parallel to BC and CYQ and BXP are straight lines. Prove that area of triangle APB is equal to area of triangle ACQ. So, in order to prove this, let us note on the given information that here, let us note on the given information that in triangle ABC, X is midpoint of AC and Y is midpoint of AB. So, from the midpoint theorem, we can say that in triangle ABC, XY will be parallel to BC and XY will be equal to half times BC from midpoint theorem. Here it is also given that PQ is parallel to BC. So in order to prove this, let us consider initially that XY is parallel to BC. Now if we observe here the triangle BYC and triangle BXC lie between parallel lines XY which is parallel to BC and on common base BC. We know that two triangles lying between the two parallel lines and with the common base they will be having the areas equal. Therefore here area of triangle BYC will be equal to area of triangle BXC. Now in order to get triangle APB from the base part we need only triangle BOY and BOX. So in order to get BOY and BOX we need to eliminate the area of triangle BOC. So subtract area of triangle BOC from both sides. Then we get area of triangle BYC minus area of triangle BOC is equal to area of triangle BXC minus area of triangle BOC which implies area of triangle BYC minus BOC is area of triangle BOY which is equal to area of triangle BXC minus BOC is area of triangle BOX. To these two triangles areas let us add the common area of triangle XOY that is area of triangle BOY plus area of triangle XOY is equal to area of triangle BOX plus area of triangle XOY which implies area of triangle BOY plus XOY is area of triangle BYX which is equal to area of triangle XOC plus XOY is triangle CXY let this be as equation number 1 given that BC is parallel to PQ but we also have that XY is also parallel to BC. From these two we can say that PQ will be parallel to XY also. So here we got PQ is parallel to XY. Now consider quadrilaterals XY QA and quadrilateral XY AP. They lie between Two parallel lines that is xy parallel to pq and they have a common base xy. We know that quadrilaterals lying between parallel lines and with a common base their areas will be equal. Therefore here area of quadrilateral xy qa will be equal to area of quadrilateral xy ap 
which implies this can also be written as area of quadrilateral xyap is equal to area of quadrilateral xyqa let this be as equation number 2 now by adding 1 and 2 we get area of triangle bvx plus area of quadrilateral xyap is equal to area of triangle cxy plus area of quadrilateral xyqa which implies area of triangle bvx plus quadrilateral xyap is whole area of triangle abp which is equal to area of triangle cxy plus quadrilateral xyqa is whole triangle cqa that implies this can be written as area of triangle abp is equal to area of triangle cqa is also can be represented as triangle acq this is what the required proof for us